Kamala Harris is really worked up over a history curriculum down in the state of Florida. She was shouting about it. She's so agitated. Let's take a look at what she has to say. Just yesterday in the state of Florida, they decided middle school students will be taught that enslaved people benefited from slavery. <laughs> they insult us in an attempt to gaslight us and we will not stand for wow, it. Wow, she is shouting really loudly, so it's got to be true, right? I, I kind of miss when she just talked about Venn diagrams and yellow school buses. Okay, so what's really going on down in Florida? Are the are the citizens of Florida really putting into their curriculum an instructional lesson that teaches middle school kids that enslaved Africans brought here against their will in horrific conditions, experiencing the worst atrocities, not just enslavement as if that wasn't enough, but the murder, the rape, the dehumanization, that that in some way benefited these people? Well, of course not. Charles C.W. Cook is the online editor of National Review, and he actually looked at the entire curriculum, did a search on any term involving slavery or enslaved or slaves. There were 191 references, and out of all of them, this appears to be the one offending statement. Instruction includes how slaves developed skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. Well, that's not exactly what Kamala Harris said at all, is it? Well, that's okay. We're going to clear all this up because earlier today, Whoopi Goldberg, who of course, as you know, is a bit of a historian herself, she took to the view and told us exactly what was wrong here. Trying to get through everything that's happened over the weekend and what's all the insanity going on in the world like Wednesday uh, Florida's Board of Education approved <laughs> what they're calling standards for uh, African-American history I feel like they didn't talk to any African-Americans because we could have told them <laughs> about the history and nor have any anyone seemingly gone to the Smithsonian to find out anything you know there are all of these Sl former slaves who have given their testimony. You can yeah. go to the Smithsonian and hear them. So uh -huh. apparently so they Whoopi all think Goldberg thinks that the problem in Florida is they didn't actually talk to any African Americans, let alone African American scholars, to create their uh, African American history curriculum. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, let's get to the bottom of it then, shall we? Let's hear from the person, one of the people who was in charge of creating this curriculum. Let's see what this crazy right-wing white supremacist has to say for himself. So there's been uh, there's been a little bit of backlash um, to to these standards that you know were put out and you know like you said that you know these were these were done in open uh, open sessions so the public could you know mm -hmm. listen or watch along. Um, you know what would what would you say to critics uh, who say these standards um, have set education back? Well, I can't answer critics whom I haven't seen or heard. The only criticism I've encountered so far is a single one that was articulated by the vice president, and which was an error. As I stated in my response to the vice president, it was categorically false. It was never said that slavery was beneficial to Africans. What was said, and anyone who reads this will see this with clarity, it is the case that Africans proved resourceful, resilient, and adaptive, and were able to develop skills and aptitudes which served to their benefit, both while enslaved and after enslavement. Wait a minute. That, that appears to be an African-American scholar who's responding. Are you telling me that Whoopi Goldberg got it wrong? Are, are you going to tell me that Whoopi Goldberg doesn't know what she's talking about? That's not possible. I mean, she's one of the hosts of The View. She's got an EGOT. Yeah, that is, in fact, a professor of African American Studies. He's a professor emeritus at Michigan State University. He was very much responsible for forming this curriculum. And you just heard from his own mouth. That's an interview with ABC News, by the way. Uh, where he says the vice president got this completely wrong. Let's hear a little bit more from the actual gentleman who put together this curriculum. So you would say that you're, you know, you're standing by these standards, um, you know, even though the vice president was 
very verbose yesterday. Um, well, I, I will repeat to Mr. McCarty that I'm not claiming authorship, but I'm certainly willing to stand behind the work of my members in the task force and to stand behind the collaborative process. I have read, of course, all the standards. I am quite confident in their validity and their historical accuracy and their motivations and intent. Wow, so he's standing by them. This is, this is really awkward for Vice President Kamala Harris, isn't it? I mean, we saw her shouting and screaming and getting very agitated, saying that they're being lied to, that they're, they're gaslighting African-Americans in this country. And, and here we've got this guy whose ancestors come from slavery, who, who in fact shared a personal anecdote about his own legacy, his own family members talking about slavery. Here, listen. Amid all of this, that you know, do, you, do you think the wording should be amended? I do not, no. I, I think it would be effectively to erase people's history. And let me illustrate that for you, if I may. Uh, my great-grandfather is someone who came from the islands and who was enslaved here and whose own resourcefulness, resilience, and adaptiveness was certainly instrumental in producing for his family, his descendants, the ability to prosper here in this country. Hence, from his resourcefulness, we derive benefits. I think anyone who would try to change that language would be denying that great-grandfather Sidipus made any contribution. I certainly could not endorse doing that. Now, of course, Kamala Harris, I guess, could draw on her family legacy and her great-great-grandfather to find out what his perspective may have been on slavery. Um, now, we could draw from her great-great-grandfather who came from India and lived in India, but that obviously wouldn't be analogous because this is about enslaved Africans here in the United States of America. So we'd have to look at the other side of her family tree, but unfortunately, that side of the tree also doesn't have enslaved Africans because that side of the family comes from Jamaica and, well, reports are that in fact her family, well, they weren't the enslaved, they actually participated in the ownership of slaves. So it's interesting to hear Kamala Harris so agitated and so upset about us and we and our legacy and they can't do this to us when she's not actually one of us when it comes to the horrific legacy of slavery in this country. But she does know one thing, one very important thing about politics. When you're a Democrat, when you're on the left and you start screaming racist at people like Ron DeSantis or any Republican for that matter, well, it doesn't matter that the curriculum was actually created by an African-American scholar who specializes in such things. No, 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 no. You start pointing fingers, you start screaming racist, you start getting agitated, and you start saying that white people are just trying to erase the legacy of slavery in this country, well, you end up raising a whole lot of money and creating a whole lot of power for yourself, and that's really what this is all about. It's certainly not about the truth. Hope we cleared that up for you. There's more to come on O'Connor Tonight.